what's up guys today we're going to be creating this light ray effect here is my raw video clip the first thing i need to do is copy and paste my video clip so if we hold down option and just click and drag the video clip up to create this copy and on this top layer the first effect i'm going to add is the luma key effect so over here in the effects tab let's go to mask and keying and then just use the luma key effect and drag that onto the video up in the parameters let's drag this bottom slider here to around about the middle and then let's go back to the effects and go to the blur section and add the zoom blur onto this and over in the parameters let's change the look to variable and you'll see we start to get these light ray effects if we use the on-screen control here we can put this in a position where we want the light rays to come from let's put it over here for now just below here on the opacity i like to turn the opacity down and we can always change that later I'm also going to add the Gaussian Blur onto this and set that between 5 and 10 and this will just smooth out the light rays slightly. From here we can also change the colors so if we go up to the color board here add a new correction and let's add the color adjustments. This color adjustments only comes on the newer versions of Final Cut Pro and it's really cool because you can just change the warmth of the highlights, midtones and shadows. So if we turn up the highlights warmth, you'll see it starts to get like this golden hour look and then also turn up the tint. And then also we could turn up the saturation if you wanted to get that really like golden hour look. And up here we also have the exposure so you can kind of change how bright it is and use the exposure settings to also change the look of the light. And then if we go back to the parameters and go to the Luma key effect and then on the mix down here, if we turn this down, you can see how the golden hour colors sort of spill onto the rest of the video clip. So that's another setting which is quite useful to make the whole video clip match the light rays. We could also add a mask on the zoom blur effect. So over here, click the mask button and then add shape mask. And this way you can just isolate the light rays, pick where you want the light rays to be on the video. And yeah, there we go. That's pretty much all of the effects I added. If you wanted to create the before and after effect like I did in the intro, then what we can do is copy and paste the original video clip on the bottom. So if I hold down option and click and drag this video clip up and put that original video clip on top of the layers, and then we can just trim the video clip. And what I did was added a Luma key transition. So, so if I go over here to the transitions, I'll use one of these Luma fade transitions and we want the highlights to fade on. So if I just double click on this to add it to the end of the video clip. So now if I play that back, we get the fade on effect. You could also use a cross dissolve transition. It will just look slightly different. If you like that golden hour look, then I put all those effects into a preset. So you can just drag and drop the effect onto the video clip and really easily create that light ray effect. And all of the settings are here on this one preset. I'll leave the link to that in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.